G'day and welcome to my little instructional video for my Skyrim mod, Custom Sigils. So what is Custom Sigils? Well I got the idea when I was watching one of Gopher's Let's Play videos and in his playthrough he's creating an army of followers and uh, he mentioned that he thought it would be cool if he had a logo for them to carry. Now I thought that wouldn't be too unachievable so I've given it a go and here's the result. Um, as you can see my followers are carrying my house sigil this one in particular is from the pre one of the pre-made packs that you can download and it's from the Skyrim achievements. You'll notice it, that you might recognize it as the unbound achievement icon. All I've done is change the color from the one that you can download and you can do that using the Photoshop template. You will need uh, a mod like Ultimate Follower Overhaul which will give you the, abil the ability to make sure your followers can carry what you give them. Um, next up I'll just show you a little bit around the mod and how it works. Okay, what you're looking at here is the default sigil that comes with the core files. Um, it's the one that you would be replacing with one of your choosing from the texture packs or one that you've created yourself. So how it works in game is you just over at the forge. Under iron is the house shield. And that's that's the texture pack that you or the texture that you currently have. Um, it requires a leather strip, three firewood, and an iron ingot to create. And then I thought, well, to make it a bit stronger, the you know storyline is that you've had to use dragon scales and fire salts to to embody it with the strength of dragons. So it's now slightly stronger than uh, the usual guard shields and matches the same value and armor rating as the banded iron shield. So that's it there, I'll just create that, and check it out in our inventory. There it is. You can also improve it that's some good out here for, by. Uh, for one iron ingot, and there we go, you can make it super cool. You could also rename it if you wanted by uh, enchanting it. If you've got good enchanting skills it would be really cool to have all your followers with really awesome shields that have your house name on it. So like, I don't know, House Steve or House Targaryen or whatever you feel like. Okay, so how to set it all up and how to get going with it. Um, installing the file is pretty easy. You just want to download the custom Sigils core file and that comes with the ESP that puts the items in the game and a textures folder with the custom texture in it. So that's the default one that you saw a little earlier, the white background and the black slash through it, so you're going to replace that with whatever one you'd prefer. Um, now there's two ways of doing that, you could create your own custom one, or you could download uh, one of the, the texture packs that I've created, so this is the achievements texture pack, and these are all icons from the achievements, Skyrim achievements. You could download the uh, PSD file and change these uh, to suit your needs as well. So there's also the, a couple of factions from Skyrim. Uh, there's probably more to come, but it just depends on how many people are actually interested in this mod and what sort of feedback I get. Lastly, the Game of Thrones texture pack. So these are all from the Game of Thrones television series. So, for example, let's say you're interested in uh, the Game of Thrones Stark texture. You would download the Game of Thrones sigils. Open up the uh, texture pack there. You find the one you're interested in. So next to the JPEG, we've got custom sigils Stark. You would copy that and you're going to put that or override your textures folder. So in your Skyrim data file, you're going to go to textures, uh, armor, custom sigil, and you're going to replace this texture, the default texture, with the one that you'd prefer. So I'm just going to delete that, and then I'm going to rename this one to match that one we just deleted. So everything after the hyphen there, delete. That's good to go. That should be the Stark sigil in the game on anything called House, sig uh, house Shield. So that's how it works, and I'll show you a little uh, screenshot of what that looks like. Okay, so what I'm going to demonstrate now is how to customize one of the uh, sigils yourself using a Photoshop template that you can download from the mod page. And what you're going to need for that is the DDS plugin for Photoshop. You can get that from the Navita website, and I'll provide a link to that so that everyone can find it pretty easily. Uh, so, I had problems using the DDS plugin in Photoshop 64-bit, 
so I had to use 32-bit in case anyone ever has that problem. Uh, you can find the 32-bit version of Photoshop in your program files x86. So I'm just going to crack open the template here. Okay, and this template's set up so that we've got uh, Skyrim swatches as the top layer. Now these swatches have, I've sampled from Skyrim because for some reason in your texture or Photoshop file is actually a lot darker than it shows up in game. When you, if you do anything bright in here in the game it'll look super bright. So you want to make sure you're using these kind of as a reference or a guide for your colors. Um, the next uh, thing down is the folder that has your logo in it and the reason I've put that in a folder is because it's got uh, a grunge sort of uh, you know, masked out uh, folder there so that you can see this is the type of grunge that'll look like your paint has been chipped back and not brand new. So that's that. Let's just switch that off. Uh, next thing down is the logo grunge layer. Now that that's there so that when you've got your logo, uh, the grunge layer uh, makes it look a little bit more realistic, not as, you know, perfectly painted. And it's got the same mask as the logo itself. Now I've set up my logos on the ones that are uh, used as shape layers so that you can easily double click and sample your own colour. It makes it easier as you're working to kind of tweak it while looking at it happening on screen instead of having to use the fill bucket on a layer over and over and over again. Okay, below those two is the Skyrim folder and inside that are a bunch of the factions from Skyrim. Uh, some of these are vector paths, some of them are, are bitmap uh, masks. It just depends on what I was able to get my hands on or bother recreating. Below that is the Game of Thrones sigils, so these are the ones from the, the show and I've created those just using levels and I'll show you how to do that later um, and put them in as masks as well. Below that are the icons from the Skyrim achievements and so uh, I'll just demonstrate in a sec how to change the unbound one. Below that, the uh, background colour of your shield, so you can see there that that's, that's it there. So let's say we're going to edit the unbound icon to match what you saw earlier in the uh, videos. And I'm going to take the unbound icon, double click on the colour, and pick the yellow from Whiterun. Okay, let's turn that on so you can see it. And as you can see, it it's fairly flat looking, it doesn't look like it's been painted on. Actually, I'll just turn on the background so you can see it a bit easier. So double click on that and select the Windhelm color, so blue. And you can see, there it is, it looks a bit flat. I'm going to make sure that the grunge layer is turned on. And that's the grunge layer from the, the default. I'm going to take the mask here from Unbound, and while holding down Alt, you're going to drag that over the mask for the grunge layer. So it's going to say, do you want to replace this layer mask with the one that you dragged over it? And I'm going to say yes to that. And as you can see, the grunge is only over my my logo. Um, you can adjust that using opacity for whatever uh, you seek uh, it to look like. And I'm just going to pick 35 there, because I think that looks alright. Like I said, it'll look a bit darker in here than it will in game, and I'll show you a screenshot of what it looks like in game in a tick. So I'm just going to switch off the Skyrim swatches. And then you don't need all this other rubbish that you've previously got on or in the layers. So we're going to go Layer, Flatten Image, and you're going to say Yes, Discard, Hidden Layers. OK, so now this is flat, but for some reason the Skyrim shields are actually on their side. Uh, when the textures are saved, so I'm going to go image, rotate canvas, oh sorry, image rotation, 90 degrees clockwise. So this is the way that Skyrim, the way up that Skyrim needs it. And then I'm going to go file, save as DDS, so you can find DDS in your list here if you've got the plugin installed. And I'm going to hit save. So by default, uh, this isn't the one that uh, the Navita plugin has selected, but you're going to want interpolated alpha. That keeps the alpha channel that's saved with um, that Skyrim texture. And so you're going to want to pick from the drop down here DXT5 alpha RGB interpolated alpha and hit save. Okay, and then all you're going to want to do is make sure that you take your, your newly created DDS file. I'm going to rename it here to custom sigil get rid of everything after the hyphen there and I'm going to put it in my textures folder armor 
custom sigil and I'm going to replace this one. So yes, move and replace. So now the one that we've just created, the blue and yellow uh, unbound icon is going to replace the default sigil. So I'll just show you what that looks like on screen. Okay, so how to create your own from scratch. So basically if you open up the template file uh, what you want to be doing is replacing this mask with one of your own on both these layers. So uh, the easiest way to do that, and a mask is a grayscale image, so white and black and gray. So we're going to just take a, uh, a file or something that we found that we want to use, or paint your own. You could paint your own in here by just editing this as you see fit. Um, and then there you go. I can just see what that looks like. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do it with an image that I've found online. So I've I've googled ve uh, vector bear and I've found this picture which I think looks kind of cool and I want to use it as my sigil. So if I open that up in Photoshop, uh, we want to make it grayscale so that we can use it as a mask. So I'm just gonna crop that with the rest of those. Uh, image adjust desaturate so now it's grayscale. Now I'm going to want to get rid of this uh, watermark here and make all the grays into white so that it actually looks like kind of a one color logo. So you can do that going image adjust levels. I'm going to bring up the blacks a bit to get rid of that uh, watermark. I'm going to bring down the whites to turn the grays into, into white and same with there. Um, bring the blacks up a little bit just playing around until I get it to look the way I want it. And you can see here I'm running out of space, so I'm just going to hit OK and go Image Adjust Levels again, and then that way I've got a bit more leverage to play with. There we go, that'll do for demonstration. So I'm going to select all, Edit, Cut. I'm going to cut that and paste it um, just outside of my logo folder, just while I'm working on it, and hit Paste. So I've, in this uh, template we've got guides set up so that you can see where your sigil is going to uh, where the center is of the shield. So going edit, transform, I'm just going to scale this up. I'm not worried too much about the uh, the pixels and stuff because it's going to kind of look a bit grungy and painted anyway. I'm not too fussed. So let's just get that to fit. There we go. And then you want the rest to be white, so I'm just going to fill the outside here. And there we go, we've got black on white logo. So what I need that to, I need this grayscale image to be my mask, so I'm going to select all. I'm going to cut, just so that I know I've got it. And then clicking on one of the masks, I'm going to go to Channels, and you can see the mask here. So we're going to scroll down and only view that mask. So with only that selected, I'm going to paste. And you can see here's my my um, artwork is now the mask. And I'm going to turn back on RGB and go have a look at it. So as you can see, it's the wrong way around. The the, it should be uh, white on black, so I'm going to click on the mask here, go to channels and look at it again, and with just that one selected, go image, adjust, invert, so that's going to invert the colors for me. So back to RGB, back to my layers, you can see that's looking pretty good. I also want to turn on my grunge layer and make sure that it's got the same mask as my logo, so holding down alt, I'm going to drag that over the top and say yes, replace layer mask. There we go, so we've got a bit of grunge on my logo. Now I'm thinking I want this to be uh, red on white, so I'm going to double click on here, oops, I'm going to turn on my Skyrim swatches, and I'm going to go double click on here and select the uh, red from Solitude, so there we go. If you've got a, a dark colour on like a light colour, you might want to make sure that you've got the folder selected and go multiply, and that'll give you a, an even more natural looking appearance to your colours. You could even tweak this a little bit to make it a little more red and switch this off. So now we're just going to export the DDS. So I'm going to go layer, flatten image, and I'm going to say yes, discard hidden layers, that's all this other rubbish that we don't need. Then I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise, so image, image rotation, 90 degrees clockwise, and that's the way up the Skyrim needs it. Now file, save as DDS. So I'm just going to save that to my desktop. I'm going to call it there. Okay, and there we have it. There's the custom texture we just made using an image we found online. And it's uh, 
on my shield. And that's it. So have fun, and I'm looking forward to seeing what people create. Please uh, post your images and post your ideas and your comments and your endorsements. All those sort of things really help modders uh, get inspired to keep making mods. So um, catch you later.